So are you experiencing any kind of uh, allergies or any kind of bad symptoms with food? Stay tuned, I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to help fix that. All right, hi everybody, thanks for joining. John Meadows here. Um, one of the things that I've seen over the years of bodybuilding is a lot of people develop digestive issues. And I get a lot of questions all the time on how you can fix those things. Things like uh, bloating or constipation or you know just things like that. And a lot of people ask me, well, should I get allergy tests? And allergy tests can be very accurate. Uh, there's a couple that come to mind. You can actually get a blood test uh, where they can tell you what they think you're allergic to. You can also get those uh, little scrape tests or prick tests um, on your back. Um, my uh, boy Alexander actually had one of those done and they told me he was allergic to grass which was kind of weird because we play outside all summer and the grass and he's never had a problem but anyway um, and I have a lot of people do, that uh, I've done diets for over the years and they send me their actual allergy tests and there's different ratings you know very sensitive to this food so it gets a certain collar and very sensitive to that food it gets a certain collar um, and some of those things, I don't know that I even agree with them. You know, somebody will show a, a very big sensi sensitivity to a food and they've told, they tell me they've never had a problem with it. So here's what I wanted to say today. Um, you know, if you have an allergy, something that's very serious, like a peanut allergy is very common. The simple answer is to not eat that food and you can give different tests to, to show you what you're potentially very allergic to and, and you need to avoid that. But what's most common are things that maybe aren't so bad. It's that bloating, the constipation that you get from certain foods. Um, so what I wanted to tell you today to try is the rotation diet. And what many people will tell you to do is eliminate uh, the big three, which would be sugar, wheat, and dairy. Those are the three biggest offenders. Um, so many people tell you to eat those. Now, what you can do with a rotation diet is you can bring one of those foods back in uh, after say 30 days. 30 days is kind of a common day amount that people say to go without those foods. So you bring in um, dairy for example. So you have a glass of milk or whatever and what what you can do is you can wait uh, see how you feel and then wait four or five days and try it again. And you kind of get this idea of how bad it is or how maybe it's not so bad um, but the theory is is that if you only eat something every four to five days then some of those toxins or those things that cause the immune system to go crazy kind of get out of your body. Now this is important because if you have foods that um, maybe they don't bother you a lot but they do a little, you can have them, you don't have to eliminate them forever so you can have them like once a week. But the, the, the idea of this rotation diet is to bring in different foods slowly and see which ones are the big offenders. And the goal is hopefully you can still have them, you can still consume them, you don't have to give it up forever but maybe you just need to do it once a week or once every two weeks. So rather than, you know, if you have, like for me, I have an issue sometimes with protein shakes, with protein powder. But rather than giving them up forever, I'm okay if I just have one or two a week. They don't, don't seem to bother me. But if I start doing them every day, then I experience that bloating that people always talk about. That happens to me too. Um, so anyways, that's just some, that's just some easy tips. Uh, the rotation diet is very simple. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. Um, but take out the sugar, the weed, and the dairy if you suspect any of that stuff. Um, maybe one of those three, two of those three, all those three. Again, if you suspect anything. If you've drank milk your whole life and you don't have any problems with dairy, then there's no need to eliminate it. The goal is to find out what's causing the issue and then maybe reintroduce it to see how your body can handle it because maybe it can't handle it in, in less volume. So just some simple tips there on how to deal with um, issues that you can get. Maybe it's not a full-blown allergy, again, like the peanut example I talked about but it's still something you want to deal with. So try the rotation diet. And if you have any questions below, if you want more detail on how to do it uh, with your food plan, comment below and I'm happy to answer. So thanks and have a great day.